Country Shooter 98. Today we've got the Rock Island Armory VR60. It's a semi-automatic, uh, gas-operated, 12-gauge shotgun. Um, this thing is a beast, too. Um, been having some fun shooting it. I just want to say thank you to Rock Island and Arms Corps for sending it out to me. Let me try it out and sending me some shotgun shells to try it with. Today I'm going to be shooting uh, these uh, Fiocchi 12-gauge, uh, two and three-quarter inch shells through it. Uh, before we get to talking too much about the gun, I've got four mags loaded up, so we better get to shooting and just have some fun here. Put a couple mags through it, then we'll come back and we'll run over the specs and all that good stuff. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been watching, has subscribed. Uh, if you haven't already, please do hit the like button if you like these videos. And feel free to comment, questions, chat, whatever, get right back with you. Let's do it. Fishing right here. Oh, shoot another one. Right. Grab another mag. Try my luck here. See if I can hit the see, make sure this thing throws it up and hopefully it'll throw it up and not break it when it throws it. See if I can actually hit it. We'll see. Took two shots, but I got it. Uh, let's shoot another play here. All right, we're out. Let's go to the table and we'll talk about it a little bit here. Run over some specs of this gun. Rock Island VR60. It's a beast. Uh, it's a lightweight uh, synthetic type shotgun. Um, it's on an AR platform, obviously. Um, you, you got some recoil with it being such a lightweight shotgun um, and being a 12 gauge. Um, it takes up to three inch. I'm shooting two and three quarters. I'm sure the three inch have got even more pop. I haven't had the guts to actually shoot them. I've been shooting different brands, uh, two and three quarters. And it's been chewing them up pretty nice. Um, I haven't had any problems with it yet. Um, I've watched other people's videos. They've said they've had a few little hiccups here and there. So hopefully it'll run these big boy mags all the way through uh, with no hangups. Um, these little mags I was putting through it are five plus one. Um, I've been looking on Gun Broker and the price has been running between like 450 and 480 and depending on the seller some have been sending one five plus run mag and some have been sending two um so you just probably need to look around and find the best deal you can get and then uh, rock island was kind enough to send me the big 12 rounder and then the big monster 19 rounder so i'm looking forward to it i don't think my shoulder is um this big one it only takes two and three quarter inch shells only um, as, as they say don't load up three inch in it so it's a, got a 20 inch barrel they also it also comes with a little case here with three different chokes and the tool to change it they sent an extra limb saver pad um, it's a little bit thinner so if you didn't want this bigger thicker one I do <laughs> uh, I guess it depends on what your tolerance is for a uh, recoil um, this one came with adjustable rear sight and the front sight is, uh, you can adjust it up and down and this one you can adjust up and down and for uh, windage. Um, all the controls, you know, you got your mag release, um, you got your slide release button on this side, um, the grip, the mag, well, everything is basically on par with a standard AR-15. The only thing is different is you don't have your charger handle back here, it is on the side. Um, but other than that, I mean, it basically feels like you're holding an AR-15. This one also comes with a carry handle. Um, you can take this off 
Uh, it's really just your preference on what kind of sights you want to use. Um, that's pretty well the specs and uh, most of the stuff uh, that I like about it. Um, it also, I was going to say, has a adapters here for your if you want to put a sling on it. It's got all kinds of rails for the side. It's just like an AR-15. You can put all kinds of stuff on this thing. Um, some of the cons, um, I, well, the sights that are on here, I'm not crazy about. Um, I've had to do a lot of adjusting on them. Uh, I'm probably going to look into probably putting a red dot on it eventually. Um, but that's not really a huge deal. Um, trigger isn't bad. It's a shotgun trigger. It's not like you're going to have like a competition rifle trigger. It's not a bad trigger either. Um, the, my one knock that I've, it's been a little bit difficult to handle and to mess with, and I've been trying to mess with it and mess with it fine either ways, is the mags. Now, they're new mags, so the springs are a little bit stiff, but the mags get to be a little hard to load. Um, the, the five round ones, not so much to maybe like the last round, but what I'm having problems with is as I'm loading them, all right, this one's in the mag, to say, I push it down to put this one in, and as I'm trying to push it back, it keeps wanting to catch the ring on the, the brass ring here on your cap of your shotgun shell, and it gets, plus you're fighting the stiffness of the mag. I've actually been taking a flathead screwdriver and just pushing it down and then sliding it in. I do kind of wish there was an easier way, especially with this 12 and 19 rounder. It gets a little frustrating, a little hard to load them. Um, if they come up with some kind of speed load or something, it'd be great. But uh, again, that's just nitpicking a little bit here and there. Uh, it's, it's been a nice gun. It's, it's ran real well. Um, I mean, it's a, a semi-automatic AR platform shotgun. Um, I've seen some people that have said these things have had little hiccups in some of their reviews. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I've put about 100 rounds through it. Now, it's not saying it may be in time. So far, uh, I, I give it a thumbs up. I, I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, a shoulder hasn't been. <laughs> but uh, nice gun. Um, I like it. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, the sights, like I said, I had to play with these sights quite a bit to get them to where they were hitting kind of the way I wanted them to. Um, I wish I would have shot some three inch in it if I haven't had a chance to pick any up yet. That's the one thing I really wanted to run and to see. But maybe for a range day number two. You never know. Let's go ahead and get some ears on though. Um, put the 12 rounder through it. And then I'm gonna get really brave and we're gonna go for it, this 19 rounder and just uh, try to dump it. We'll see <laughs> how much I can take. I might give up halfway through. It's a good size mag right there. That's a 12 rounder. Uh, let's try to clear out these last couple of clays here real quick. Um, I was going to say too, all the functions, I haven't had any jams or anything, and uh, the safety's worked on it fine. The bolt releases work, it's locked back every time. The mag release or uh, the slide release button has worked every time. I haven't had any hiccups in this thing yet, so I've been pretty pleased, really pleased with it. clay over here it fell down on the ground right behind the hostage target so I'm going to shoot at the ground to see if I can hit it off the ground here Got it. All right. Let's see if we can hit that cowboy 25 yards See if I can shoot the hostage target and only hit the bad guy. <laughs> Got it. Well, 
The hostage may have a bad shoulder, but for the most part, I took the bad guy out. Oh, I'm out. And I flinched. See that? All right, here we go. This thing's a monster. It almost looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna try to dump this thing. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to shoulder it the whole time, but I'm gonna try to keep letting it rip. Make sure it functions. Let y'all see it. Here we go. Didn't feed the second one. There we go. There Some issues with this big one. that time. Two. I actually felt it, but that's how I'm not feed it. Five left. Thing's smoking hot though. Rock her back and let it cool down. So it ran the 12 round mag, no hiccups. I've ran the 12 round mag through it a couple of times now with no problems. The 19 round mag, this is the first time I had it loaded all the way up. The first time I only did like three and five just to see if it would feed. And uh, it did. Um, I don't know, we'll have to play with some more uh, right out of the box. So first time I loaded up 19, you've seen it. Uh, didn't run them all the way like it, sh like it should have. So I don't know, could be a mag thing, could be the gun just being super hot and dirty from all this now or or what, but uh, it happens. That's why we do the reviews. It's just what, if it's what happened, that's what it did. Um, clean it up, mess with the mag some, see what happens. Um, that's the first time in about over, over 100 rounds now that's done anything to me, but it's also the first time I loaded that 19 round mag all the way up. So, it is what it is. Um, I still like the gun for the price point. Um, it's a really nice semi-automatic shotgun, especially if you're looking for something home defense, uh, personal defense type gun. Um, I don't know that you'd want to load one of these up for that anyways. I mean, realistically, I believe the five plus one is gonna be plenty for that. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to check it out and see. I still like it. Um, it's a cool little shotgun from Rock Island. It's the VR60. There is an updated model of this gun. That's the VR80. 
I'd really like to try it out and see how it is too. Um, there you have it. Uh, first time, uh, this is the first gun I've ever shot, shotgun wise, on an AR platform, so it's been interesting to say the least. Um, but I really enjoyed it and uh, really appreciate everybody that's been watching, has commented, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Really appreciate support, and we'll see you next time.